Good day everyone! Once again, welcome back to your virtual learning class. So for today, we will talk about the different components of a sandwich. We all know that sandwich is primarily consists of bread, toppings, fillings, and spreads. So for today, we will discuss them and let's learn about them. Ready? Let's start! First is the bread. There are different kinds of bread used for making sandwiches, from the soft rolls to the hard crust bread, from the bland flavors. And here are some popular breads for making sandwiches. First, we have the French breads, focaccia, pita bread, French roll, mini baguette, American loaf bread, Poppy seed roll, whole wheat bread, ciabatta, waffle, pancakes, piadina for Italian flat bread, rustic bread, hamburger buns, regular loaf bread, pandesal, pandemonai, biscuit, pastry bread, rye bread, white rolls, sesame rolls, soft roll, oatmeal bread, and white rolls. Aside from breads, we have also different toppings, fillings, and spreads for the sandwich. They provide the basic component of a perfect sandwich, and they can turn a simple sandwich into a special treat. Use the right filling and the right sauce or spread for a sandwich of your creation. The following are some suitable toppings, fillings, and spreads to create variety of sandwiches. First, we have crisp slice of bacon with lettuce, mayonnaise, and tomato. Second, we have sliced hard-boiled egg with mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato. Third, we have luncheon meat, lettuce, mayonnaise, and tomato. Fourth, we have grilled pork with pineapple ring. And fifth, cold ham topped with diced beets and cucumber. Next, we have also cold ham with slice of cheese, mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato. Also, we have smoked pork ham with mayonnaise, tomato, cucumber, and parsley. And of course, we have frankfurters and potato salad with mustard and mayonnaise. Ninth, we have the sliced chicken breast, lettuce, mayonnaise, cucumber, and tomato. And tenth, we have the cooked sausages with lettuce, onion rings, and mayonnaise. The of course, we have also Spanish sardines slice of sweet pickled cucumbers or onion rings. We have also broiled shrimps topped with mayonnaise and beef burgers, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise. Also cheddar cheese with chopped pimiento and celery slices and sliced tongue with dill cucumber slices. And lastly, we have tuna chunks, lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise. Now, at this point of time, let's talk about the different suitable fillings for sandwiches. First, we have the egg filling. Combine one chop of hard-boiled egg, two tablespoons of pickle relish, one tablespoon of finely chopped onions, three tablespoons of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper to taste. Second, we have the cheese pimiento. Combine one cup of grated cheddar cheese, two teaspoons of minced pimiento, three tablespoons of mayonnaise, and one tablespoon of sugar. Third, we have the ham filling. Combine one cup of chopped ham and two tablespoons of pickle relish, one teaspoon of chopped onions, 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper to taste. Fourth, we have the bacon filling. 
To do this, combine one cup of finely chopped fried crispy bacon, two tablespoons of pickle relish, one tablespoon of chopped onions, and three tablespoons of mayonnaise. The next one is the chicken filling. To do this, all you have to do is to combine one cup of boiled chicken flakes, two tablespoons of pickle relish, one tablespoon of chopped onion, four tablespoons of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper to taste. Next, we have the liver sausage filling. Combine one cup of mashed liver sausage, two tablespoons of pickle relish, four tablespoons of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper to taste. And lastly, we have the tuna filling. Combine one cup of canned tuna flakes, two tablespoons of pickle relish on one half cup of drained crushed pineapple, four tablespoons of mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomatoes. Now, let's proceed with the different suitable spreads and sauces for sandwiches. Spreads and sauces are very important component of sandwich because they add a special touch to the most basic sandwiches. Experiment with your spreads to create new variations and new flavors by adding other ingredients, herbs, spices, and condiments. So let's start with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise goes well with fish, meat, cold cuts, eggs, and vegetables. And always remember that there are different variations of mayonnaise by mixing additional ingredients. Next, we have the tartar sauce. It consists of mayonnaise with egg, capers, gherkins, spring onions, and parsley. Third, we have the Thousand Island dressing. It consists of mayonnaise, onion, chopped pickles, Worcestershire sauce, and ketchup. Fourth, we have the tuna spread. It consists of mayonnaise, tuna, capers, onions, and chopped pickles. For the fifth spread or sauce, we have the marinero sauce. It consists of cream, mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, and ketchup. Next, we have the pesto genovese. It consists of extra virgin olive oil, garlic, basil, pine nuts, parmesan, and pecorino cheese. For the next sauce, we have the barbecue sauce. It consists of onions, garlic, olive oil, peeled tomatoes, tomato paste, sugar, vinegar, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, chili pepper, salt, and pepper. Remember that there are other variations of barbecue sauce, so you can make your own recipe. Next, we have the cheese spread. It consists of cheese, cream cheese, aromatic herbs, olive oil, salt and pepper, and mayonnaise. The next one is the eggplant cream. It consists of, of course, eggplant, onions, olive oil, thyme, salt, and pepper. All right, our next one is the herbs butter. It consists of softened butter, parsley, chives, onion, pepper, tarragon, and chervil. And lastly, we have the hollandaise sauce. It is mainly consists of butter, egg yolks, lemon juice, white pepper, and salt. And that's all for now, grade 9. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless everyone.